Hi everybody, welcome again to Consciousness Rise in Zimbabwe and Beyond. As you know, my name is Tanya Norris and um, I don't have a interview for you today. So, because I'm working on a project that I'll tell you about in a little while. Uh, but I do have, we have some very exciting things coming up and I know that it's exciting for us and therefore it's going to be quite thrilling for you too. So, the first thing that I want to talk about is that I'm working on a series uh, of ufology in Zimbabwe, current and historical. So, and there's a lot of information coming in about that, and it's taken quite a long time to put it together in some kind of cohesive format. But anyway, I think let's rather just focus on the quality of that. And um, why is that important? I think ufology and cosmology is definitely a part of consciousness because as we expand, our consciousness expands, we become more and more aware of the multidimensionality of the universe and all the things that live in that universe. So it's not just about aliens from other planets, it's all aliens visiting us here on Earth. It's about the interdimensional aspects of what those entities or aliens could be, because remember, um, you've got demons, you've got angels, and uh, those are also just aliens or interdimensional beings. And in between those two things, you've got a whole heap of different categories of what might be considered aliens. So anyway, I'm working on that, and hopefully I'll have something together for you by next Tuesday. The other uh, thing that is coming up, oh, on Friday, uh, Antonella has done an interview with uh, her name is Mariette van der Berf, I think that's how you pronounce it. And Mariette is a astrologer here in Zimbabwe. I think she lives in Harare. And she will be uh, talking to us about the, the evolution of astrology and also what's happening in 2020 coming into the next uh, six months for us here in Zimbabwe. And also, with considering, of course, that we've had these uh, eclipses, we're in an eclipse cycle. There's been three, and I think the next one is on the 5th of July. So that's going to be very, very fascinating. So please don't forget to, to miss that episode. That will be coming out on Friday. And then the third thing, which is also exceptionally exciting for us. So for those of you who didn't know, some of you do know, that Antonella is not only a healer and a space holder and uh, facilitator. She also is an artist, but an artist with a difference. Because what she does is she channels intentionally an intentional focus of energy or universal energy into every painting that she's doing. So every single painting ends up with its own unique, um, would say vibrational kind of signature. And so as an individual, any of us looking to buy a painting or enjoy the painting will resonate on whatever level we are needing for ourselves, some kind of, of say, healing or uh, some kind of inspiration or alignment or um, uh, input, something that's lacking inside of us. So we will resonate with that painting and then the painting feeds our souls. So Antonella has also been doing that for quite a while. In fact, I have this painting behind me, you'll see that I use in the, the back here. That was a painting that I asked Antonella to do a couple of years ago for a project, a very special project that we were putting together. And <clears throat> so she asked, well, what kind of aspects, what are we looking for? What are we hoping to gain out of this venture? And of course, those things where we wanted it to be harmonious, we wanted to be joyful, um, fun, uh, uh, successful, abundant, you know, all of those aspects that we would want for, for ourselves. And, and then it's a process by which she takes my personality and my daughter Robin's personality and so it works with that. And then she came up with this beautiful, magnificent um, artwork here. I'm sure that you can see it. And so that is uh, that that is the basic. It's basically uniquely uh, or what is the word? 
and I have like a bespoke painting that brings in all the aspects that you are needing for yourself at that point in time or for your projects. So it's very fabulous work and uh, she does amazing things. So why am I telling you all of this? Because on this week, on Thursday, on Friday and Saturday, Antonella and Old Rhino are doing an exhibition and the exhibition is called Portals into the Heart Star. So Ord, actually if you look below there's a, an interview with Antonella, Antonella interviewed Ord and she's not just a yoga teacher but Ord has been working for many many years with crystals and she's been doing on the same principle, uniting, bringing together certain crystals to offer up different vibrations. So when people go to have a look at the jewelry, they get a sense of not just with their eyes, oh, this is beautiful, because let me tell you, everything is beautiful and everything is fabulous. So, and you know, we can't be doing that. You feel which is the right piece for you, which is going to be the vibrational frequency, the energetic match that, um, that you feel that you need to have at this point in time. So portals into the heart star exhibition promises to be a wonderful opportunity for us to get together, soak our souls in the beauty and the, the serenity of those jewelry pieces, of the artwork, uh, things that only Antonella and Ord can actually come together and create. So, and also just treat yourselves, come and have a cup of ginger tea, get to meet us, uh, be lovely to meet some of you that we haven't met yet. Uh, Antonella has put together a, a short little presentation showing you some of the artwork, some of the jewelry, just to excite you and get your imagination going. So, anyway, everybody, I'll see you all there, and um, that's our update. Welcome to Portal into the Art Star. My name is Antonella Bergione. I'm uh, uh, introducing you this uh, exhibition that we are having uh, next uh, Friday and Saturday, 3rd and 4th July in Greystone Park at our Crystal Passion. With Odd, we are presenting you uh, a symphony of paintings, mandala and jewelry. And these, uh, they all have a voice, a different voice, a different tune like your own. So if you come, you'll find out that this painting will speak to you in a certain way, which goes beyond the, the pretty picture, uh, because they have a voice, like you do. So harmonizing both voice can create a different frequency. And this frequency is the one that we are looking for to give birth to this new earth, which is happening now. So we invite you to come and share with us and play with us. We're going to do also some um, mini, 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 mini readings for those one of you who are really interested in the painting because that painting is going to tell us something about you or a guidance or uh, a different way to be. Otherwise, you can just come and enjoy the pieces, all of them. Let me start with showing a preview of our work. We start with Daydream, a seascape. And from there, we go to Source. This point of light radiating all around. This gold light coming to you. Healing dreams. The mermaids are coming to you at night, for you at night, to heal you. Wise old friends. And Ellie and the owls. A very powerful elephant. Buddha, portals into the art star. This mandala has taken 10, month, 10 weeks to be complete. It will change and shift and bring a completely, dif a completely different uh, 
vibe in your home and to yourself. Indigo flow, dancing flow has to do all with what the water element. A window into eternity. One of my art journals where I can experiment in a safe place and then explore and uh, put it onto canvas, lovers, Many other different paintings that I won't show you now because I want you to come. And here is a part of the um, a series called the uh, One Thousand and One Night. True gold. It's almost like a, an Islamic window. and pure gold. This is the sunset, this is the sunrise. But for sure there is the connection with the sun, who is the bearer of this gold. And the an overview of, on my messy studio at the moment, everything is out and being used, uh, frames, painting, everything. And this is Odd. Odd with their beautiful creations, watermelon, tourmaline and ruby, malachite and sodalite, a range of different tourmaline and aquamarine, carnelian, asphine, and their atelier where we are gonna have the exhibition. More abundance, more beauty in all this array of different gemstones. Mostly they are all from Zimbabwe. Come and join us in this celebration because it's gonna be a feast for the eyes. And I hope to see you in numbers next uh, uh, Friday and Saturday, the 3rd and 4th of July. At Crystal Passion in Greystone Park in Arare. Thank you. Mm -hmm.